everybody, it's an old Paw Hunter, and today we're going to look at some new Toy Story 4 Pops I got, so let's get into it. So, I got these off some website, I forget the name, but they were $4 a piece, pretty good deal. For Pops like these that are just commons, they are commons, around a year after the movie comes out, it just starts, they just start to, you can get them for like 3 4 $5. So I am trying to complete my Toy Story 4 set. I've had a bunch of them for a while, but now some of the super common ones are going down in price and I can just get them for like $3. First one here is Ducky. So I've had the flocked one for a while and I also had flocked Bunny. I made a review in the corner and that was actually my first video. But yeah, these are actually some pretty cool figures. I don't know. This, the non-flocked looks more simple and good, but then it makes so much sense to be flocked, and I like the flocked. I've got the flocked right back there. I'll, I moved all my Toy Story ones over here. So there it is. But this is pretty cool, but I mean, I'm not gonna, I wasn't gonna pay like full price. I have, I definitely have seen this one many 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 times before but i did not buy it because i don't want to pay ten dollars for a common pop that i know will be like three dollars in the future but overall cool pop next is combat carl he wasn't in the movie that much you might not even remember him but he was bo peep's friend from the her like being at the playgrounds and stuff combat carl jr and I don't know why they made him into a figure. He's not that big of a character. I feel like he only should have got a mystery mini or something and not a full pop. But you know who I do think should have got a pop? Combat Carl from Toy Story of Terror. Because that, like, he's in the whole thing. The whole, like, whatever it is, like, 40-minute thing. Combat Carl Jr. is in the Toy Story 4 for, like, 20 seconds. Combat Carl not junior is in it for so long and toy story of terror is really good let's pop it out of box okay so this is actually pretty small actually let me grab a normal pop to see how small it is compared just grab mr burns here no reason just just a random pop okay so it's not much of a difference it's not a crazy difference but you can definitely see that there he is Combat Call Jr. So you can see it's a bit shorter. So that's pretty cool. I do like how they scale it to other pops sometimes like that. And this figure, he's got like the joints that an action figure would have, like the elbow and stuff. You can see if we really get close there. But um, this kind of reminds me of the pop of Duke Kaboom. And by the way, the arms don't move or anything. The only thing that moves on Pops is heads. Funko does have a brand called Reaction Figures, like action figure. But yeah, this is a cool Pop. I do like how they got the arms like that. It definitely makes it look pretty cool. And yeah, this is a pretty cool figure. I just think they should have made Combat Carl and not Combat Carl Jr. So these are cool Pops. They were eight. They were $4 a piece which is $8. I probably would have had to pay 10 a piece. 10 a piece, which is $2 more than I paid for both when they originally came out. These are the type of figures I'd suggest waiting on. I'd say wait about a year because these are not like Combat Carl Jr. He's not in the movie much, so not many there's not a lot of hype for him. So not many people are going to buy it. Ducky, he is in the movie a lot, but there's also a flocked version of him, which would make it go down in value. Stuff like that always happens. If you want to buy it, if you think it's going to sell out, I'd probably do that because it does happen a lot with Pops. But sometimes you just know. And that's all for now. So make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell when you see more by me. Goodbye.